All right, eight minutes before 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Dr. Mark Klein is on the phone. He's a radiologist with Washington Radiology Associates, and he teaches at the George Washington University School of Medicine. The uh, subject is uh, some new insights into a less invasive, safer, and more affordable virtual colonoscopy. Let's find out what this is about from Dr. Klein. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Nobody wants this thing, by the way. Nobody wants a colonoscopy. We all say, no, 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 yeah. no not going to do this. <laughs> I'm sure you hear that all the time, right? I do, and I don't blame you, but I'll tell you, that refers primarily to the traditional or what we call an optical colonoscopy, the kind of colonoscopy where you get put to sleep and the gastroenterologist takes this long tube, snakes it through your colon, they put you to sleep because it hurts otherwise, you'd be miserable if you were awake. Yeah. Uh, and nobody wants to have that because there's also a risk that scope can go through the colon called the perforation. That's pretty serious. People die from that. It's not common, but it absolutely happens. Oh. So people, yeah, people fear this test for good reason. But the important thing to remember is that we're talking about a disease that's preventable. Colon cancer, which is the second leading cause of cancer death among both men and women in the United States. People don't realize that. Second leading cause of cancer death among men and women. 50,000 Americans die every year. So this is a highly preventable cancer. So I, when in breast cancer, for instance, women get mammograms screening mammograms to look for breast cancer. When we find something on a mammogram, that's, it's a cancer we're looking for. Here in a colonoscopy or a virtual colonoscopy, we are looking for something that comes before the cancer, that if you remove it, you avoid having the cancer. And those things are called polyps. The word polyps just means little growth. Mm -hmm. So little growths occur in the colon. Most of them mean nothing, but some of them will go on to grow and develop into cancers. We know that if we remove these polyps, those, those significant ones, about 85% of colon cancers can be prevented. So we're talking about a screening test that has the potential to save thousands and thousands of lives. It's a big deal. So we want everybody over the age of 50 to have a colon cancer screening, because believe me, why would you want to die of a cancer? Yeah, cancer? but how do you do it in a less invasive way? I'm, tr I'm trying to imagine what you actually do. Okay, so this is what's so cool about this test. So a virtual colonoscopy uses a CAT scan, a CT scanner. And what you do is we do have your patient clean out the colon, kind of like they do with a regular colonoscopy. And then we go ahead and put the patient on a CT scanner table. We do two scans, each about 10 seconds long. We actually put carbon dioxide, which is a neutral gas. It's a gas we breathe out every day into the colon very gently for, uh, for just a couple of minutes so we can open up the colon we can see it and then we use a CT scan and create these virtual fly-through images it's really 3D it's a little like Star Wars and look for these little polyps it's unbelievably cool and unbelievably accurate we find more of these significant polyps with this test than you do with a regular colonoscopy the data the medical literature is clear on this it's okay. more accurate but, but, finding but, those polyps but, 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 but also more accurate for finding the cancers Okay, so the way I understood the colonoscopy, now I'm, I have no clue about this, but, but we've had conversations about it, is that when the, the traditional colonoscopy finds the polyp, it immediate, the doctor can immediately remove it then and there. So if you discover the polyps the other way, you still have to go in to remove them, right? That is a great question, and that's what people would say. But here's the deal. First of all, only about 5 to 10% of these polyps really need to be removed. And we know from the medical literature also that way too many polyps are removed. The gastroenterology community is trying to address this because they take out way too many polyps. Mm. Why is that a big deal? Every time you take out a polyp, there's a higher risk of a complication. So many, many more polyps are taken out than need to. The only polyps you need to take out are the ones that are likely to cause the cancer, and we can tell what they are because it's generally based on size. So we know that the virtual colonoscopy is better for finding those, those, those polyps. How often does a patient have one? Less than 10% of the people that have this exam are going to have a polyp that needs to be removed, which means over 90% of people don't need anything else. And as we move this forward, we, we have set up in many sites relationships with the gastroenterologist. So in those less than 1 out of 10 people who do have the polyp that needs to be removed, often they can have it done the same day without having to go into the prep again. But over 90% of people, this is all you need. So you, you really want a screening test to be mm -hmm. perfectly safe. A yeah. virtual colonoscopy is perfectly safe. Nobody's going to die of a virtual colonoscopy. Unfortunately, it's not true of a regular colonoscopy. Nobody should die of a screening test, for sure. Wow, but but wow. you still have to do that, that uh, body cleansing before you do that your kind of test, right? Because the other yeah. test, you have to make sure everything goes away before they insert the camera. That's right. So actually, it is possible to do this test without going through that, but we, we still recommend it because it's a better test. But remember, most... But just about everybody having this test is over 50, and most of us are grown up enough to go take this. And we can, we can modify the prep for people who have problems. I've done it twice. You know, it's not the most fun thing in the world, but in, for a chance to save your life, it's a small price to pay. Yeah, and, me. I've and, done it twice. It's and, you don't go to sleep, and you don't go to sleep for 45 minutes. You don't go to sleep. You, you, take your, you can drive yourself, take the bus, take the train, walk in, 
you know, half an hour later, you walk really? out, app, same as you did as you walked in, and you go back to work and go shopping and go home and do anything you want. Absolutely. Well, There's no, no risk, no sedation. In, in, interesting. The it, of the United States, by the way, the president of the United States, when he had his colon cancer screening several years ago, he and his doctors chose this study. Why? Because they knew it was very accurate and they knew it was extremely safe and nobody wants to take a risk with the president of the United States. Wow. And that's how I feel about every, every American. Why take a risk of something that could actually hurt you? Absolutely. When, is less accurate when you can have a test that's better, safer, and less expensive. And I'll tell you one other thing that you're going to find very interesting. Because it's a CT scan, we get to look at the whole inside of the abdomen of the body. So we can find tumors and things like the kidneys and the lungs, lymph nodes. We find swellings of the aorta called aortic aneurysms, which can rupture and cause death. And to give you an example, I personally, having had my own, knowing that the virtual colonoscopy is a better test, for my second screening, I had a virtual colonoscopy. My colon was fine, but I found a kidney cancer, a cancer oh. on my own which I then had removed. So, you know, I got to save my own life. And, and this is not a rare event. We actually find more cancers in outside the colon in other structures than we do inside the colon. Oh, wow. That, so so it, it, would, it seems like this would be the, the way to go from now on. It seems like the other one is, is um, primitive compared yeah. to this. Well, it, like I say, virtual colonoscopy, or otherwise known as CT colonography, is the best kept medical secret in the United States. This should be the screening test of choice, and I can tell that from personally. I've done thousands of these. Uh, it's, I agree with you completely. Why isn't this well more well known? Well, it's been a, a secret for lots of different reasons, but that's why we're doing this this discussion today, so that we wow, can wow. There's, there's an option out there that's going to save your life. So, do we do we ask when we're going to to get the colonoscopy? The, do we say we want the the, the CT version of this? Well, I would, and if your doctor says, I don't think it's as good, then you say, well, do me a favor, go read the medical literature, because there is a ton of data in the medical literature, New England Journal of Medicine, the Journal of the American Medical Association, lots and lots of journal articles over the last 15 years. Mm. This, is, this is very, very clear. The American Cancer Society, the American Cancer Society has endorsed this virtual colonoscopy as a screening test for colon cancer. So every major organization understands this is highly accurate. Wow. And in fact, it's better for finding the small polyps Doctor, than finding the polyps that can cause cancer. Thank you so much for this information. We're out of time. Uh, is WashingtonRadiology.com a good site to go to? No, I'm going to give you a better site. It's called RadiologyInfo.org. Radiology, R-A-D-I-O-L-O-G-Y, Info.org, slash virtual CT. Excellent. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Passing from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The GOP choice for president four years ago, black.